We all heard this a couple of weeks ago about this notion of flexible work arrangements request. So let me go through this first, just to make sure we, uh, we understand what these things are, right? Before we talk about how to address this or how to manage this. Thanks for clicking on this short video. This is an extraction from a longer video of a workshop. The link to this longer video is in the description below. There, we discuss other facets of the same issue discussed here. Do take a look too. Flexible work arrangement is not just about working from home. There are three variations, right? Flexi time, in other words, varying the time the employees need to start work. Flexi place, right? That is the work from home item. And flexi load is about whether uh, you can change your, your, the nature of a work to a part-time or you share the workload with somebody else, which may sometimes result in you getting a lower pay. These are the three variations we need to consider. All right? So what, the, what else does this, this uh, uh, new guideline mean? It basically means now that there is a formal process for an employee to apply for flexible work arrangements. And there is a timeline involved for the employee to come back to the employee to say whether yes or no. Because the employer now has, is obliged to consider the employee's request and if there's any alternatives that he can present. So that is what the guidelines in essence say. Now, what does this mean? Well, to put it in a short form, basically it means now we have a, a, a formal way to access flexible work arrangements. Previously, many of you, maybe you approach uh, FWA in a sense of an informal way. You tell about, hey, can I work from home this week or whatever. Now there's a formal way to do it. And what this means is that it is now uh, uh, possible for you to have better work-life balance and maybe even improve your productivity as well. But, and this is something I highlight to, to many of my clients because ever since this thing came out, uh, I have so many of my clients come to me and say, what can I do? What can I do? Right? So this is what I'm advising them and I'm sharing this with you. Firstly, when you apply to your, your prospective employer or your boss and say, I want FWA, you need to highlight how it benefits the organization. Yes, it will benefit you, but more importantly, how it benefits the organization. Whether it is about improved productivity for, for you, you know, leading to better uh, work output, Maybe it's about lower absenteeism because, you know, sometimes many of, uh, I, I know, for example, one of my clients, the reason why she's so stressed out is because she's a caretaker for her child who's school going. So sometimes she's late for work and all that because she has sent the child to, to school and back, pick up and all that. And sometimes she just, last minute, she cannot come to the office because the child is sick. Okay. So absenteeism may be lowered because if you have the ability to work from home. No, sometimes maybe you, if you're in a good, terms with your boss, this thing about retention, because sometimes it's about, you know, uh, the boss knowing that, hey, I cannot handle this because, you know, of my stresses at home, I have to take care of my child, I have to take care of my parent, I need to leave the job. So the benefit you have to highlight to the company when you are talking. So it's not about you, no? Although the benefit is to you, but you have to translate this to the company itself. But the other thing you need to consider is this. Be prepared to negotiate. It's not a given. Huh? The company may come back to you at, with alternative arrangements. So you need to be prepared. Remember, there are three ways, three FWAs, right? Don't just be fixated on one and say that's the only one that works. If the company is uh, willing to renegotiate and come back to you, be open about this. The other thing that I, want, I wanted to emphasize to you and which I emphasize to my clients as well is this. Whenever you apply for FWA, you need to ensure that there is no negative impact on what you need to do at work, right? So in other words, things like team dynamics, especially if you're working in a team, if you're servicing client, that's not going to impact your, your client servicing capabilities and maybe the way your organization uh, uh, delivers uh, projects or output, make sure that it doesn't affect that as well. Few key things to, to remember. So it's not so straightforward, huh? I saw some comments in the chat box saying that, you know, there's some skepticism. I totally understand the skepticism and I'm not going to say that it's going to be smooth sailing. What I'm suggesting here is that this is an opportunity for the uh, employee and the employer to try and match up expectations and work patterns to make a bigger positive for everyone. This is an opportunity. And we as a 
uh, employee, right, need to look at it that way and say the benefit is not just about us. We also have to translate that benefit and say how does it benefit the organization. Hi, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you've seen and can't wait for the next one, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel in the link below. See you soon.